A little while back, we did a video on how you could add Shazam to the control center on your iPhone or iPad. So if you haven't done that or you didn't know that you could do it, then here's a link to that video here. But in iOS 14.6, Apple has gone one step further and they've added support for app clips into Shazam. Now we've got another video all about app clips as well if you want to take a look at that. So let's move on and see how we can see how this new change to Shazam actually works. So firstly, this video is going to assume that you don't have Shazam installed. Now, if you don't and you want to use the new music recognition feature, then you really should install Shazam. It's great because it will allow you to store a history of all the songs you've identified through the service and also allow you to automatically add those tracks to an Apple Music playlist if you happen to be an Apple Music user. So I've got a song playing in the background, so let's swipe down from the top right of my screen on my iPhone. Remember, iPads work the same here. And we're going to choose the music recognition icon, which really is, of course, the Shazam icon. So that listens for a bit, identifies the song, and there it is. Now, if we hold down our finger on this notification, it expands to tell us a little bit more about the track and gives us an option to swing over to Apple Music to listen to or download that track. Now, if we tap this, we get a notification message that allows us to open up a small version of Shazam, one which doesn't actually require us to install the app itself. So this is what we refer to as an app clip. It's a small demo version of the app that gives you some basic functionality so you can see if you want the full app experience and then, of course, download it. So if we click open, it's going to launch this app clip, give me a bit of a taste of what the full version of Shazam is going to look like. And if we scroll all the way down, it prompts us to get the full app by downloading it. So let's do that. And honestly, if you're using this service, well, you really should download the app anyway. So now that we've got our full Shazam app back, one thing you should be aware of is that if you do use this music recognition feature to identify a song, if you simply swipe away the notification, then it's gone. If you let the notification expire by itself, it's gone. You do nothing, it's gone. And you're going to have to try and detect that song again. Shazam is not going to add that song to your history. However, if you tap on that notification and launch the full Shazam app itself, you'll find that track added to your list. So now you do have a history of all your songs. Now, I know many of you left comments in a previous video asking about that feature, and now there is that little bit of integration, but you do have to tap on the notification that'll launch Shazam, and then it's added to your list. Now, of course, if you do use the full Shazam app in the first place, it's always going to add these tracks to your history. But obviously, it does require you to launch the app, which is going to be slower, of course, than doing it from the control center. And remember, launching from the control center also means you can do that whilst your device is locked. So there you have it, a couple of changes to Shazam and the music recognition feature. Now, it's not perfect, but it's certainly better than before. And I'm still a huge fan of interacting with Shazam this way through the control center as I find it quicker. So if you're after speed or you just want the name of a song, then control center is easily the best method. Now, if you actually want to retain a list of tracks or see more tracks or add it to Apple Music, then the full app is better for that. Just use whatever works best for you at the time. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy Shazamming.